Thanks, Sue. Police are investigating the stabbing death of a young man in the northern suburbs last night and are appealing for public help. About 9.45pm, a black Holden Commodore pulled into the driveway of the Lower McEwen Hospital. It paused for a short time and then the male driver alighted from the vehicle and ran from the hospital grounds and along Trevor Street. A search has failed to locate that man. Two other females who were in the car remained with the car and then drove it the short distance to the entrance to the emergency section of the hospital. A man was retrieved from the vehicle who had suffered serious stab wounds and he died of those wounds a very short time later. The two female occupants have not assisted police in any way um, or assisted uh, anything that might uh, point us in the direction of those responsible for this offence. The Commodore has been seized and is being forensically examined. Since that time, police have conducted a number of searches and interviews and recently as a result of information from a member of the public in relation to articles that have been on the media today, um, a person's identified a place to us at 19 Pearson Street, Parafield Gardens, which we believe at this stage is most likely the scene of this offence. There is some blood at the house. The house has been locked down and is going to be forensically examined. Police are in attendance, conducting door knocks and speaking to witnesses and neighbours in that area. This offence has been declared a major crime and is being investigated by a task force named Operation Triumph, which has been brought together from specialist areas across crime and from Metropolitan Operation Service. That task force will operate from the major crime investigation branch and will um, involve people um, from the various branches. In particular, investigators today would like to hear from anyone who saw that black Holden Commodore, either before it arrived at the hospital or um, at the time of its arrival, and in particular, the man that was wearing the high visibility vest. And I stress to you, he's not involved in any way with this incident, but as you can see from the video, he walked directly in front of the car and he appeared to be looking at the man who ran away. Also, in respect to anybody who may have seen or heard anything in the vicinity of Pearson Street, Parafield Gardens, between 8pm and 10pm. Either that Black Holden Commodore, possibly other vehicles, and a number of people were heard screaming or shouting at about that time. I'm happy for any questions. Do you have a suspect uh, Not at this stage. It's, it's very early stages and um, certainly it's been made more difficult this morning because with most murders we have a scene to start from, uh, whereas this one it's taken most of the day to establish where it most likely occurred. Was the car reported stolen? No, it's, it's not a stolen car um, and um, we, we're making more inquiries about that vehicle. Is it registered to that Maracle Gardens address? No, it's not. Do you have um, any idea who that man may have been that's leaving the scene there? Has, has there really been any clues or obviously you know, you assume they know who that man is? Certainly the other occupants of the car would know who that person is and they haven't assisted. Um, and it, it's not confirmed who that person is. So anybody with information about the identity of the man that fled that vehicle would be very helpful to this uh, investigation. Are those women facing any charges themselves? Well, certainly those women have put themselves in a position where they've put themselves at risk of criminal charges in the future. Can you tell us more about the victim, what his kind of injuries were and how old he was? Um, I don't want to go into the amount of injuries or the specifics of them because that would be unhelpful to the investigation. But it's fair to say that um, he suffered very significant stab wounds um, to his body, which caused him to die within a very short time of those stab wounds. Is the Pearson Street 